Even if you haven't heard of it, your life could soon be impacted by this powerful new technology built with artificial intelligence. It's an incredible innovation. At the same time, it's like opening a Pandora's box. In 2023, we learned that a machine taught itself how to speak to humans like a peer. Professor Christian Tervige tested something called Chat GPT on a graduate exam. The computer put to use knowledge that analysts, managers, and consultants get paid big money for. There's little doubt that the AI revolution is here. From AI art generators to language models such as GPT-4, many people feel that the creative world is being changed in unprecedented ways. As I've been researching this topic, I can't help but wonder if this is the beginning of a renaissance in creativity. Or does AI have the potential to replace human writers, artists, narrators, and musicians, ushering in the end of creativity as we know it? In an era defined by rapid technological advancements, the rise of artificial intelligence, or AI, has brought both excitement and apprehension. AI has already reshaped various industries, healthcare, finance and banking, customer service, and manufacturing and logistics, to name a few. So it's only natural that there are concerns regarding the potential impact on the jobs of creative individuals. It's easy to understand the fears that automation and machine-generated content created by tools, such as ChatGPT, will replace human creativity, leading to unemployment and a decline in the quality of artistic expression. Though there are other tools for art, such as Night Cafe, Midjourney, and OpenAI's Dolly 2, Narration, Murph AI and Well Said Labs, and music, Soundful and Amper, we are going to focus our attention on GPT, which is used for writing. Few advancements have captured the imagination of researchers and the public alike as much as Generative Pre-trained Transformers, or GPT. The seeds of GPT were sown in the early 2010s when researchers at OpenAI sought to explore the potential of large-scale pre-training in natural language processing. In 2018, the first version of GPT, aptly named GPT-1, was introduced, demonstrating promising capabilities in generating coherent and contextually relevant text. However, it was GPT-2 that truly captured the world's attention with its remarkable language generation abilities making waves across the AI community and media outlets worldwide. Building upon the success of GPT-2, OpenAI continued to refine and enhance GPT's capabilities. GPT-3, released in 2020, pushed the boundaries even further. GPT-3's massive size and training data enabled it to produce impressively coherent and contextually nuanced text often indistinguishable from human-generated content. In 2022, I was an early user of PseudoWrite, a tool that uses GPT-3 for use in aiding fiction writers. Back then, I was amazed at its capabilities. Now, using ChatGPT, which is run off of the fourth iteration of GPT, its outputs are even more mind-boggling. Here's a prompt I gave ChatGPT. Acting as a poet, write a sonnet in the style of William Shakespeare. And here's its output. And here's another prompt. Acting as a horror writer, craft an opening scene in the style of Stephen King. As you can see, its output is pretty impressive. While using these tools and seeing their amazing potential, I began to wonder, will AI actually replace the need for human writers? With ongoing advancements in natural language processing and AI writing tools, many people are worried that algorithms producing content faster, cheaper, and with equal or superior quality could eventually render human writers redundant. This could pave the way for a future where creativity becomes a domain solely governed by machines, potentially stifling the richness and depth of human storytelling. Then there's the potential dilution of authenticity and originality. Since machine-generated content lacks the nuances, emotions, and unique perspectives that stem from human experiences and creativity, AI may reproduce patterns and formulas, leading to a homogenization of artistic expression. 
Eventually, the distinct voices and diverse narratives woven by human writers could be overshadowed by standardized algorithmic outputs. None of this would be good for the future of the arts, in my opinion, but perhaps that view is a bit too dystopian. There is a possibility that AI tools could instead be used to augment a creative person's skills and natural abilities. This would align with the long list of tools that have come before that have essentially done the same thing. From typewriters, cameras, and synthesizers, to word processors, digital design software, and multi-track recording software, tools to help writers, artists, and musicians have existed for a long time. Some writers from the days of Pulp Fiction had used stenographers to increase their writing speed. In The Fiction Factory, William Wallace Cook, writing under the pen name John Milton Edwards, describes employing two stenographers to help him keep up with the demand for his writing. Unable to catch up with his flood of orders for his fiction, he hired a third. A few years ago, the advancements in speech-to-text technology essentially did the same thing as a stenographer, at a much lower cost. Working writers in the 1920s and 30s leaned on books such as Plato and The Plot Genie, which provided structured frameworks and story templates to inspire narrative development. A large range of plot possibilities, character archetypes, and conflict resolutions that writers adapted and built upon could be seen as a major competitive advantage. Having recently acquired original copies of The Plot Genie and spending time experimenting with it, I can say that this old tool doesn't stifle creativity, but rather serves as a springboard for imagination, assisting the user in crafting compelling storylines while still allowing for the infusion of their unique ideas and characters. In other words, the book can augment a writer's ability to construct engaging narratives, but doesn't do all the work for them. In a way, AI does the same thing. Currently, ChatGPT won't write a coherent story for you. You would have to be a skilled writer already, and then these modern AI tools would simply help you to unleash the creativity that stirs inside you, in the same way that the Plot Genie or Plato did for writers in the past. I'm not sure that this is the same for other AI tools, I've heard AI narration and it's quite impressive, and there are many successful YouTube channels that already employ AI voiceovers. Art tools, such as Midjourney, are able to create amazing art for those who take the time to learn how to use it. But even with these amazing advancements in AI, there are certain aspects of human existence that remain irreplaceable. At the core of human existence lies an inexhaustible wellspring of creativity. Our ability to imagine, innovate, and express ourselves in diverse ways is unparalleled. While AI algorithms can mimic certain artistic styles or generate new content, they lack the depth of human experience, emotion, and intuition that underpin true creativity. Human creators draw inspiration from their unique perspectives, emotions, and interactions with the world, infusing their work with a rich tapestry of meaning and authenticity. Art, in all its forms, serves as a profound reflection of the human experience. Whether it is a painting that captures the complexities of the human condition, or a melody that evokes deep emotions, artistic expression goes beyond the realm of technical proficiency. It encompasses the intangible essence of human existence, the depth of feeling, the subtleties of interpretation, and the ability to evoke empathy and resonance. AI may replicate the superficial aspects of art, but it cannot replicate the human connection forged through artistic expression. Human connection is intricately woven with emotional intelligence, the ability to understand and empathize with others on a deep level. While AI can process vast amounts of data and analyze patterns, it lacks the nuanced understanding of human emotions and the empathy required to forge authentic connections. Genuine human interactions rely on empathy, intuition, and the ability to interpret nonverbal cues, nuances that are currently beyond the reach of AI algorithms. And as long as that remains the case, creativity is not dead. So what do you think? Will AI completely take over the arts, destroying creativity in the process? Or will it augment the already talented writers, artists, and musicians, allowing them to create unparalleled works? Please let me know what you think in the comments below. Also, if you'd like me to make a video covering a certain topic, please be sure to add that as well. Thank you for watching.